man, wow, didn't see you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Robert Land. Uh, this is a video episode, so I'm stoked to have you. This one is quite the hoot, because we're joined by Doug Gleason, um, which is a uh, character, he hosts the show, uh, What's Your Deal? Um, basically, Doug is like, this episode is kind of like going to a theme park with a drunk uncle. Uh, so that's the sort of vibe you'll have. So, you know, some cra we, we talk about everything under the sun, and uh, I don't want to, like, censor anybody or hold back, you know? This is kind of like just being with your drunk uncle and hearing inappropriate things, and uh, it's hilarious. And I, I loved the time that I had with Doug and Ryan on this one, and uh, we talk a lot about theme parks and life, of course, and uh, a little bit about Magic Journeys, which is a old Epcot show that they played at Disneyland as well, a 3D show, it's a trip, and it's perfect for this episode with Doug, because he's a trip, this show's a trip, enjoy guys, um, I didn't mean for this to be such a long diatribe, it's fucking Lawrence of Arabia long, but uh, without further ado, here it is, your episode of Robert Land, I almost said Lawrence of Arabia, you're listening to the Fuck Yeah Nation Network. Welcome to Robert Land. That's right, your favorite not safe for work comedy theme park podcast. And I'm your host, Robert Thompson, comedian, musician, theme park phenologist, all I do. What is up, everybody? It is a very exciting episode of Robert Land today. We are joined by Doug Gleason. No relation to Jackie Gleason. <laughs> If you don't know who Jackie Gleason is, then look it up. <laughs> now, but Doug hosts this show, What's Your Deal? It's a podcast where he finds out what's your deal. And uh, Doug Gleason is quite the character. Um, he's a roommate with uh, our buddy Ryan D, who is also on the show as another guest co-host this, this episode. So Ryan D, my comedian fan mate, uh, podcast extraordinaire amigo uh, rents a room from old Doug Gleason um, but yeah Doug is just full of life and so many stories and uh, you'll hear a lot of them and what uh, he's experienced at theme parks like Disneyland and um, it's pretty uh, flavorful guys so I'm excited we're just going to get right into it um, right now we're going to go to my favorite segment uh, it's, a, it's a classic one from our friend, Zach Hillman, your very informative factoid minute of theme park trivia. Theme Park Minute with Zach Hillman. Enjoy. This is Theme Park Minute with Zach Hillman. Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California opened the Timber Mountain Log Ride in 1969 the first ever log ride. Knott's pulled out all the stops, getting none other than John Wayne to christen the ride. A Playboy interview recently resurfaced where John Wayne stated how much he loved the ride and hated black people. Bet you know that, did you? Well, here I am with Ryan D. and Doug Gleason. Hello, everyone. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Wow. Holy smokes. It is, it is exciting right now because we've got two guests here that I'm really just loving uh, loving this love in the room today. Uh, we're joined again by uh, my my bandmate, fellow comedian, podcast extraordinaire, Mr. Ryan D. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, and we've also got a very special guest uh, who you may have seen in the Sheiks of Neptune episode, uh, Doug Gleason. How's it going there, Doug? <laughs> I don't know what the Sheiks of Neptune are, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, you were you were featured in that episode. Yeah, you made a guest appearance. Uh, you you commented on the, the gentleman's hat. It was like a fez hat. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you're like, oh, that reminds me of my son. He'd wear something <laughs> stupid like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you had to reintroduce yourself to me. You know. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Um, yeah, you guys were not here, right? 
No, uh, no I was he here. was he was here, but the uh, the guys were on the uh, they were on the monitor. They were in Vegas. Yeah, yeah and yeah, I yeah. just kind of just broke in and made <laughs> yeah. you. It was hilarious. It, was, <laughs> it, 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 it brought some life to the the podcast, but uh, <laughs> man, so Doug, it, it, you know, people had asked about you because you did that intro, you know, for me. The this here is the wildest ride in the wilderness. Oh, look, we already got a comment. We already got a comment. Here we go. It says Doug, Doug rules. Doug rules. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Put me on. <laughs> Put me on. Oh, sorry. I think I need to move my chair there over you. here. No, you're good. There you go. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. I'm, yeah. Feel, Doug is feeling the love in the building. Uh, so, look, we this show is about life and 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 roller coasters and theme parks. Uh, do you have any any memories of roller coasters that that you can recount? Uh, it, it doesn't matter how dirty or clean or emotional it gets. You know, let it out. I'm going to give you the most. It's funny because uh, we just started talking about this a couple minutes ago, and you're like, uh, memories of a roller coaster ride, you know? And I'm like, oh, you you kind of blew me out last week. So we've been waiting for like <laughs> two weeks. No, no, no. I like the build up, you know? It's the all suspense. Yeah, the yeah. suspense. It's like being on a roller coaster going, Holy fuck, what are we going to do? You know, we're, yeah. getting, we're getting way up there. And you know that loop de loos over there, you know? So, but uh, I remember when I was a young man, uh, you would buy passes. <clears throat> and so you'd pay your money and you'd go into Disneyland and you'd have A, B, C, D's, and E. The ticket system they had, right? Yes. Yeah. And they'd chip off your E's and your A's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The A's were like. The A's were like Space Mountain or something. I don't no, know. E, I think like e. something oh, like the E tickets were yeah, like Space Mountain. Yeah, E was no, a big e, deal, right? That's why they call it E ticket, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, can you turn my mic down a little bit? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so you you, you um, get all those those variants of rides A B C. What was A? Was that like a uh, like something that like a four year old would have a good time at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so but back in the day they had the uh, people mover. Yeah, and it was a cable, and you'd be in a car, and <laughs> me and my buddy hooked up with these two chicks, and <laughs> god damn, I'm. I'm trying to get to an age. Let's let's put me 13. Oh dang. Well, I don't know if you guys remember when you were young or anything, but 13 is a very romantic age, you yes, know? I, I agree. You're not really you don't really know why <laughs> you feel this way, but you know you feel this way. Yeah. And a chick fucking gave me a fucking hand job going across the people movie. Yes. And yes. and brought me to ejaculation. Now that, that sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> but you know who's fucking had to work with this sperm in the center of Disneyland and get back to my folks? <laughs> Wait, who had to work with the sperm? Me. Oh shit. Yeah, well, I, I had to tell him I fucking bought a fucking ice cream. It's all good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, so she gave you an over the pants handy? No, fuck no. She fucking put her hand in there. Oh, oh, pulled. so under the pants handy. No, no, no. She fuck that's that's a dude, eight. you're way up <laughs> there. <laughs> Over the under the pants is an e ticket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what that was. You guys have heard of the people mover, you do, yeah, right? yeah. People mover, yeah. We go through the rides and you get to see <laughs> no, Tomorrowland. No. Oh, oh, the buckets, the sky no, no. buckets, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we were at. So, yeah. so people might have experienced uh, you on the ride, they might have you might have rained. It might have uh, rained some. No, there's no way they can see. You were sixty feet in the guy. Some little, there. some little Doug droplets on the, on someone's face. <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't that good. I was fucking thirteen, man. Yeah, well, I got better. Well, wasn't no Peter North yet. Uh, yeah, the, um, <laughs> I mean, well, now that we're okay. No, it was not. But I remember I got married to my second wife, and uh, 
it was our honeymoon and we fucking like race horses, but we didn't want to get pregnant yet. So I pulled out and I blew the smart this, move. I blew this load that just fucking went all over. I, but I was, you know, I don't know how far it's pussy away from a face. <laughs> That's the measurement I like to use. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's space. So it's a pussy easy. away. Yeah. So it was a pretty far. Uh, it was. That's and, impressive. And I just blew this load, and it was on the fucking backboard of the fucking hotel room. Yeah. 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 Have you ever thought about auditioning for like a the Waterworld stunt show <laughs> at, a, at a Universal? No, I'm like a, I'm a, <laughs> the splashes aren't doing it anymore. Bring in Doug Leeson, folks. I'm I'm old now, Robert. <laughs> there's, I'm there's old medicine now. for that. I'm old now. Now I just take an old sock and rub it off my belly. <laughs> We're all good. <laughs> I'm sure Michael Jordan does the same these days. Uh, no, I think Michael Jordan <laughs> still can hit the fucking backboard. <laughs> so, okay, so you've, you've experienced, uh, you got the full experience on, uh, on the buckets at Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, is, is there any other... Uh, memories you yeah, might he, have he had. came buckets on the yeah he phone. came buckets <laughs> I oh uh yeah I mean so speaking of semen um you've you've produced uh children <laughs> have you <laughs> yeah. but you've you've made people you right you have kids you've taken kids to think parks changing the yeah. the tone completely oh, okay cool yeah, yeah yeah I got one great one my uh second wife uh she worked for Zellerbach paper and they're a supplier to uh the Nazi party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know Zellerblock not a... <laughs> I didn't even know it was that. I don't know. <laughs> Fanta was, man. You never know where these things have origins. So so she was uh she worked for them for the Zellerblock? Zellerbach paper. Oh, Zellerbach, okay. And they were a supplier to Disneyland. <laughs> they gave, they sold them all the paper they needed, oh, okay. like computer papers and all that shit. Yeah. So uh, when she would go there to do her job, she'd have like back access to everything. And then one day she got us some uh, tickets. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the secret room that's at Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, is it the uh, Club, Club 33? Yes. Club 33, yeah. There's a door number on it. Yeah. And I got to bring my oldest son, and I brought one of his friends with him. And uh, we got to go in there, and we got to eat. Did you find out who killed Kennedy or any... Uh... I feel like there'd be some, you know, secretive stuff. Like you feel like you're in an elite club, you yeah. know, like the CIA could be eating duck in there. I've always wondered what's in there. What is in there, Doug? Uh, it was pretty fucking unique. One of the great things was, is you can drink in there. Yeah. Oh, and it was exclusive. No, like true. No, no, no. Beyond exclusive. But it's just a buffet of bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and it's old and it's musty, you know. But like he had animatronic fucking birds in there, and you can see them right there. Oh shit! And but I mean, and unfortunately, they don't work anymore, or they don't make them work, or do anything. So because they, they want them to live forever, so you never move them again. Yeah, you know, like a baseball card. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> Um, but anyhow, apparently he, he would like hide in another fucking room where the information came sort of like Ryan hmm. over here. <laughs> and, uh, then when he would talk, it would make these fucking animals cause he'd overhear what the fuck they were talking about. That's you know? amazing. Yeah. Uh, I found that amazing. Yeah, it is, man. But, it's like Norman Bates, dude. He could just spy on people and make animals talk. So he'd do the talking, like when, when in the other room. When when he would talk, that was that's what they told us. Anyhow, I was listening to a podcast the other day with I, I think it was Doug Vinson. Oh yeah, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was a. Jim Jeffries. Oh, I love him. Yeah. And he's doing this podcast called uh, What's Your 
no, no, that's my <laughs> podcast. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh -huh. But the last one he did was on Disney. And they had this guy that's kind of a Disney specialist. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, he's saying that, you know, three quarters of the things we all call is true is fucking bullshit, you know. Oh, so like a lot of those factoids are well, a little... They, well, they bend them over because it's the Din Disney Corporation, you yeah. know, to make them fit in right, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I got something that uh, that I learned while working at, working at the Disney Imagineering office. Um, <clears throat> supposedly, besides being anti-Semitic, um, Walt... <laughs> yeah. Was, uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, he was a little bit... <laughs> You know, it's really funny, I, before you get started, about anti-Semitic. My whole life, I mean, I'm 58 years old, okay? And finally I asked somebody, why don't people like Jews? I mean, it's just a religion. We're Catholic. Right. And they told me. Jew is a race. It, yeah, it is. I learned it at 50 fucking days <laughs> years old. <laughs> that, I mean, that little bit. I just, I mean, like at the end of this story, that's how little bit I care about what fucking race you are. Right. If yeah. you're a fucking good human being, you're with me. Yeah. That's it. That's all that should matter, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, except for uh, in Walt Disney's eyes, but uh, <laughs> so uh, so you said you would worked in the Imagineering. I worked. Uh, I I so I worked at the uh, packaging hub. So so all the um, all the the packages that would come to the Imagineering uh, campus, which was like six blocks radius, right? So yeah. it all went to one warehouse, and I was uh, I was one of the delivery drivers that would that would sort all the packages and then i had my own route to go to different um to different buildings so, one so did of, you get a hold of like jewish illuminati uh, <laughs> no, no. No, no but i'd have to so i'd have to cover other buildings and other people so like i knew all the buildings but like i'd have to cover for other people when uh you know when they were out or whatever i'd have mm -hmm. to do i'd have to like double the work and shit so um one of the buildings though somebody had told me that uh was his building and, the, and that one is the the one where they have a lot of the sculpting and uh they and so i, I got to see a lot of the the spider-man structures the uh the like figurines but uh, oh for the the new ride the yeah, campus but, avengers but, campus yeah, yeah yeah before they even re released but like but if i got caught taking video or like photos like they, they're on it man they, oh yeah so like apparently people would get fired regularly like they yeah. had my job because they take photos and shit because it's hard it's hard not to there's people love this stuff yeah. so you're just like fuck this is so right one of here. the buildings yeah. was the sculpting building which was where they yeah they would they would uh you know work on park stuff it was like it was all about the parks shit the the uh, amusement attractions right so there's an attractions building and that's that's the one that has all the guys that you would think that that you know the big imagineers the ones who are fucking you know sculpting they're like inner, yeah they're the they're the big wigs of the imagineering yes, actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, yeah so like i delivered to a few people that i would see in documentaries and shit like that you know yeah um but apparently in that building but you know after i got to know a few of these people that uh you know back before walt had died he would uh he would watch the cameras and and see if anybody was was out flirting with any other ladies that he knew was married, and he would call them out on the intercom and be like, "Hey, Doug, you know we uh you, uh, you, you know your wife's at home and you got three kids, blah blah. blah. Maybe get back to your office." <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> wow! How come the guy's name's got to be Doug? <laughs> I was just you know, using you as reference. <laughs> I mean, all the names in the world, and you got to fucking use fucking Doug, man. Uh, okay, so, so this is a crazy. I thought you guys said this was a comedy show. It is. <laughs> yeah. well, when are you guys going to be funny? Uh, well, fuck, I, we've been I'm, we've... I'm all the funny. Yeah, yeah I mean. That's uh, yeah, dude. Uh, I'm actually a animatronic myself. Um, and you got to program me. You got to program some fucking puns in me. No, it's it is a, it is a comedy show. I mean, we talked no, about blue. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, can I tell you another uh, theme park story? Please. 
I got, I got a few of them. I've been thinking about them for two fucking weeks, bitch. <laughs> I wish it was only a week, but uh, uh, when my kids were very little, I had three of them, two marriages, and they were all very young. And uh, <laughs> being divorced to two wives at the same time didn't leave me a whole lot of money to run around with, you know, but <laughs> I would get my kids every other weekend. So on the other weekend, I'd go do side work and I'd make as much money as I can get for cash. You know, I do plumbing for a living and I'd have to drive all the way out to fucking, uh, Rancho Cucamonga, beyond fucking Irvine, you know? Oh, yeah. And to get my two boys every other week. And my daughter would have to fly in from Arizona the night before. And anyhow, it was fucking miserable. And it was miserable for several, several, several years. And I... <laughs> I was a general foreman of a plumbing company and I only made $300 a week on my paycheck where I should have been making. I had to pay shit. I think at one point I was paying like $2,900 a month in child support for 17 years. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was fucking rough, but I was never going to let go of my children, you know? Yeah. But it, coming back from uh, Rancho Cucamonga, no, I said Rancho. Was Santa Margaritaville? Yeah, Rancho Santa Margarita. <laughs> oh, okay. That's where it was. Okay, okay. That's was a little confused. You said, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. What's that Jimmy Buffett song? Take me to Rancho <laughs> Santa Margaritaville. Or whatever the, yeah. 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 No, but that's where they lived. Rancho Santa Margarita is beautiful fucking place, man. Beautiful, beautiful. My two boys were fucking raised in this heaven. That's you like know? South Orange County, technically. Oh right? yeah, I think yeah. It's yeah. like here's Irvine. <clears throat> here's a uh, goddamn. Dude, even Irvine's nice. Oh yeah. Well, was it Lake Forest? Is right down Lake there. Lake Forest. Yeah. Kind of. I bet there's one more. Because I remember we had some neighbor kids when I was a San Clemente? No, no, no. Oh. No, I wanted to start with a T or something. Look Tustin. at that, Brian. No, fuck no. <laughs> Tustin. Tustin. <laughs> uh, the magical right. uh, forest well, of anyhow, Tustin. I'll look it up. Just keep, hold keep on. on. This is about roller coasters, anyhow. Yeah, yeah. So I'd get all <laughs> three of my kids in this little piece of shit car I had. And one of them had to sit on the floor because there wasn't enough seat belts. <laughs> I swear to God. And we'd drive and we'd be passing by like Disneyland. And I had done a side job or something the week before. Yeah. I was like, hey, you guys, you want to go to Disneyland? And they go, nah. I'm like, really? Yeah, what, what kid what doesn't want to go? What kid says yeah. they're not going to Disneyland? <laughs> nah, let's just go do this. And they'd talk me into buying, like, uh, soft shell bullets, guns. Yeah, yeah like BB and, guns or, or like, so, just like the rubber guns. bullets? Gotcha. No, not rubber. No, like. Like pieces of plastic that are that big. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They called them soft shell or something. Like pellets kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, yeah. Uh, Chicle. And we just <laughs> run around the house and shoot each other all fucking goddamn day. <laughs> and my son ended up. M Mission Viejo. Nope. Mission Tejo. Uh, Danny Trejo. Yeah. No. Lake, it's Lake Forest, Mission Viejo, Rancho Sant San Margarita. No, it's got a different name, man. So. This is for our, our um, autistic listeners that really need to. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Well, go I'm ahead. dying. No, I think that's hilarious. I'm curious too. I'm what is down there? Rancho Santa Margarita. So you got Lake yeah. Forest, Mission Viejo, Laguna Hills, Las Flores, uh, Coto de Casa, Rancho San Margarita. Coto de Casa. They've got some good uh, bean dip there. That sounds like a, <laughs> sounds like a Mexican yeah, restaurant. Yeah. I, Have you ever was been there Acapulco? Coto de Casa? No, no, I don't think uh, so. Beautiful. Beautiful. All of it is. Yeah. Yeah, no. 
anyhow, let's forget that. Yeah. Part. So, so you guys would shoot each other with the pellets. The yeah, but they'd say no, and I'd go buy guns and we'd go shoot each other, and then because I only had got them every other weekend, I'd call them up on the weekend that they weren't with me. Yeah. And they answer the phone. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Oh, we're at Disneyland with mom. <laughs> oh, I want, what, what's the what's the deal with that? <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of shit is that, man? You offered to take them. What do you think they, you think they get, I don't know. I, I think they, maybe they wanted, they know what they like. A time with you got to be fun with guns and shooting each other. You know, maybe yeah. it's like, that's what they yeah. told me. And they didn't. And, you know, your children are, I'm sorry if I'm changing any kind of subject. No, this is this is great. Your children are uh, every gift in the world to you. And you can't blame your feelings on them. So, like, through my second marriage... Uh, I had a, the most, I have the most beautiful daughter in the world and my boys from my first measure marriage claim her as their own, you know, and that means everything in the world to me. And, uh, that's great, man. Yeah. So, but my second wife and I, well, my second wife ended up becoming a meth addict. And uh, we lost our home. We lost every fucking thing. And then it went into this huge fucking court battle of hate. And and my poor daughter had to go through that. And unfortunately, my son's as well. Because every other weekend, there we were all together. And I tried to hold it all together as well as I could. Well, my daughter's uh, mother ended up getting pregnant through this, and uh, we weren't divorced. Nothing's, you know, I, I couldn't understand what the shit was going on, but uh, huge anger came over me. And then at one point, I looked in the mirror and I said to myself, That's going to be your daughter's sister. I mean, I didn't know if it was a sister or a brother, but it ended up a sister. And there's no way I can put her through any more hell. And, you know, this this is a roller coaster ride of life. Right? I, that's right. Of emotions and life. And, yeah, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile... I got this icky fucking kid, my oldest son. He's a, he's like nine. He's like, Dad, I want a guitar for Christmas. I want a guitar for Christmas. And I bought him this fucking Fender guitar. And we were driving back home on Christmas Eve. And he said, when I learn how to play this, we're going to become a band. Oh, heck yeah. And I went, Fuck yeah. So now he's 11. His brother is nine and his sister is six. And he says, we're going to become this band. Now, our last name is Gleason. And he names the band the McDaniels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. I mean, we're all, it's a roller coaster ride story, yeah, right? It is. It is, yeah. I mean, we we this has been real. We've we've uh, we laughed, we cried, we came. So uh, <laughs> so so uh, you know, it wasn't as easy to record shit or do anything like that back then. And uh, man, I just love this technology. It's like you look on. It's like microphone seven fifty. Yep. Yeah, it's it just fucking blows my mind. Like, like Bluetooth. I mean, you can't. I'm like, every day, like I had a flip phone, you know, at the bar 
we always talk about the bar down the street, the Bell, Highland, California. Look her up. Come and visit me. I'm there every fucking goddamn day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now I can't remember what the fuck I was talking about. What was it, Ryan? <laughs> your, your flip technology phone. flip phone. Oh, your tech- yeah, I had a flip phone, and and this young guy come up to me. He goes, "Hey, old man, you need to switch to a fucking smartphone." You know? I said, "Fuck that! I only use it for texting and uh, calling people." You know? And then he showed me his phone. He said, this is called Pornhub. <laughs> I left the bar when it bought me a brand new eye. <laughs> you know, that's the, anytime there's new technology, I think porno helps bring it in. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. <laughs> like, you yeah, know, the yeah. first movies Why porn. do you think anybody else has a VR TV? Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, or but, VR or uh, a 3D. I mean, I'm certain neither one of you has ever beaten off to a fucking Sears catalog. Of oh bra- yeah, no, of I have. women with bras for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, like you said, technology has <laughs> helped a lot of things, uh, like ejaculate and or has it hurt? Yeah, uh, it, I, I mean, I mean, I think it, it, it can you, hurt. I think your first <laughs> jacket off should be to a Sears catalog with a. The bra yeah, it, section. It, 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 My, should, it shouldn't have been to like double fist and anal, you know. No, <laughs> yeah, you want to work your way up to that, yeah, you know. Yeah. I, I myself, uh, the first time I beat off was into a, a stuffed animal. Um, and it wasn't, I was like, I was thinking about what was in front of me, but it was like a little panda my mom got from the Ontario Mills. And I remember I was like wanking it for the first time, and I was like, whoa, and it had its little like, like hand pussy thing, like it was like a you know, it's perfect. And yeah. I remember like finishing into this panda thing and like i wasn't thinking about it. i was thinking about whatever girl or whatever and then i realized it was looking at me in the, like straight in the face of panda, <laughs> and i'm making eye contact <laughs> it was a magical moment and i left it in a drawer i forgot about it and i used it a couple more times and then um two yeah, more yeah two more ah, three more you know enough. yeah Chris- that- Crispy, what was what, what? What did it look like? Well, I mean, it looked like Krispy Kremes inside. But, no, 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 oh. no, not your sperm, <laughs> was it a panda? It was a panda, a little yeah. panda. No, but my brother found it years later. I remember that. Yeah, he, he, opened, like, he opened up the drawer. He's like, Not again, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I have a nickname for my doll, I call it Crackly. <laughs> <laughs> I so guys, this is kind of a you know we've talked about a, a lot of stuff, and this the show it, it covers a lot of topics. We've talked about life, uh, you know, the roller coaster that c- it can be, and uh, you know, I was thinking about this. I've never really uh, explored uh, most of these drugs, but it, it, I was thinking about like what drugs would be probably the best to take at what amusement park, and what would be the most fitting. And for me, I think these are my this is this is something we're talking about, but like. I and mean, we've talked about people doing drugs at amusement parks, now, but not are we, like. Are we talking about drugs that I've done at amusement parks or drugs? Like that... what you think would fit the that oh, amusement okay, park? Okay, so, okay, gotcha. so for me, I would say, and we could all debate this, but I would say uh, Six Flags is perfect for cocaine because it's just like, you know, high energy, high octane. But then I was like, you know what? That cocaine is definitely more fitting to Hollywood. I don't want to do Hollywood an injustice, you know, because imagine going to uh, you think movies and these guys at the big picture and, yeah. you know, but then meth, I think, was perfect for Six Flags. Meth is, meth is more perfect. It's more affordable, six. like Six Flags. <laughs> yeah, it's easier yeah. to get like Six Flags. Universal is a little bit more money. So it's cocaine. Yeah. Thinking, Universal's cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. D- uh, Disneyland or any of Disney parks is definitely psychedelics, you know, yes. dropping acid, looking at electrical light parade. You know, yeah, and then uh, I was thinking like Molly or like Oxycontin for like a water, like being on a lazy river. That's a good one, yeah, you know, good, and just like great. drowning to death, yeah, and enjoying yourself, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't know, man. I, would you guys say that those drugs sound like they fit those amusement parks? Uh, I'd say I've done Molly at Disneyland, and th- how was that for you, uh, sir? It was fantastic, you know. All right, here's the old man in me. <laughs> I'm really sorry, man. <laughs> I was uh, the huge. I was a heroin addict by the time I was in the eleventh uh, grade, and uh, my girlfriend and her, and her boyfriend. I mean, my my girlfriend, her best friend, and her boyfriend went to the beach. I had to work, and uh, 
they smoked some PCP and she swam out into the ocean and uh, she drowned. Oh, shit. Then they saved her. And so I rushed myself to the hospital and she ended up getting a pneumonia and she died. And I have never done a drug since then. And I know I look a little fucking rough, man. But <laughs> I live on this shit right here and this shit right here. And I live on this shit right here. And I wish, I wish I had bubblegum cigarettes. So, but, <laughs> no, but that's so awesome. That's so awesome. hold on. Three of those drugs I have never touched. I've never done any of those drugs. I've only done. Oh, I've, like I've never? I've, I've done no. all the drugs you just you just. Made. I barely had THC for <laughs> the first time. A, what is a molly? Molly is. Uh, it's basically, oh, that's that deep rate one. No, no, no. That's GHB. Uh, Molly, <laughs> they're a British punk band. No, yeah, I know. Every time I rape somebody, that's the one I get. Uh, wait, wait, isn't it GHB? I don't, Bill Cosby, we got to phone him into yeah. the punk. Hey, Bill, uh, yeah, GHB in the pudding pop. No, uh, no, it's G, yeah, GBH is the punk band. Yeah, G, I, know. So G, I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> well, no, because I accidentally said GBH one time, and they're like, yeah. oh, it's GHB. <laughs> so, so, but the thing is, now I'm 58. And I'm thinking about starting to eat some magic mushrooms. Why not? So I'm thinking that all amusement parks <laughs> need to be with a, <laughs> just a little dabble of shrooms. You know? So I was on. I, okay, so I I was on Molly in uh, <laughs> in Disneyland. I and I I popped two pill molly is basically ecstasy it's just it's, it's i just, don't even know what that is ecstasy it's i've never touched it okay. it's like a stimulant right it's like a, well it's a stimulant like it heightens, heightens your senses it's like speed but it's uh you know it's it's like it's like a cross between uh, like like speed and and mushrooms to where like light you know your pupils Jeez. dilate lights are you you let more light in so you're more sensitive to any sort of visual are you seeing colors yes very uh, oh, uh very vividly thing and then and you're you're more uh expressive to touch things just feel good you can feel music you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. uh so it, it's just it's like and you just feel good you stop know? it Brian. you're gonna fucking me hard you, yeah and that's so that's why that's why people do fucking mdma uh molly like for like you know uh concerts and and raves and shit because they're all half naked making out with each other listening to this music and it's a very sexual drug right so um I, I i popped here's the fucked up thing was i popped two two pills of molly uh no i popped oh sorry i popped one and a half and i split the, the, the second one it was so both me and my how girl, do they come in pills they're just fucking pills caffeine. i mean somebody's making this shit in their garage i don't know where the down? fuck it comes from but i don't know i, I made I, out of fucking oil yeah, so fucking... i had i had th i bought three pills and so uh my girlfriend at the time was much smaller than me, so I just gave her like half a pill, and I took like one and a half. And then we go throughout the entire day at Disneyland. She's fucking having a ball, right? I had nothing hits me at all, right? So I go, "What the fuck?" So I think these pills are bunk. So I take a second one. Oh, and <laughs> and then it hits the and first one. Hits. Boy, was yeah. that was there pink elephants on parade? Uh, yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, it was wild, man. I was and I was like, and it was fantastic, though. And then because after that, you know, Trader Sam's is that uh, that tiki bar. So afterwards, we go to the tiki bar, and that's when it hits me the most because they give you know they give you like a fucking a just big drink with like a glow stick in it and they start squirting you like like if somebody orders a volcano you know the volcano erupts on the wall and they squirt you with water and shit or the monsoon or some shit like that and i was just like uh, it, was just, it was just an overload of like sensory you know <laughs> so, it'd be great if you're like and that was before i got into even into the park like you just imagine <laughs> no, yeah, that was at the, end the, of the shit kicked in immediately yeah yeah um yeah but i was bummed out that i didn't really have all the effects in the park like it, it didn't start to hit me until afterwards so like i was in downtown disney wandering around like oh god everything fucking feels great <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's those pretzels <laughs> i could feel the salt <laughs> in my skin yeah, yeah. uh i so the reason reason why I, I talk a little bit about uh, drugs and I, you know, like people would, because I'm a spacey eccentric guy, like everyone thought I was like on drugs all the no, time. And yeah. that, and no, I'm you not, look, I mean, cactus cooler, dude. Yeah. But all, like all three of my children have never smoked, drank or fucking done any drugs. 
I knew the mailman was fucking in there. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I mean, you never know these days, man. It's a crazy world, but I... I oh, oh, no. <laughs> what it is my kids got to grow up with me. It is that I don't want to be anything like that. That's, okay, your turn. No, no, I mean, that's the, the thing is, uh, like, uh, what you talked about earlier, something I kind of went with recently went through recently i uh, have a family member who's an addict and uh we have custody of her kid and it's been a it's been a roller coaster the last couple months and you know we think about him all the time and what what is best for him and it's unfortunate because when people are addicted it's like they they can't see that they're at war with themselves and uh it was it was it, it's it's an unfortunate thing and i hope that there's a breakthrough but yeah, I mean, when it comes to the kids, like I wonder what he's going to think when he's older, if he's going to want to get a, as far away from that or if he's going to want to, you know, get into that. It's just, it's just a lot of psychological effects not having your parents, yeah. you know, and I, that's what I worry about. But how old is this child? He's four years old. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Take him. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did, man. Look at how beautiful you are. I, I live with my folks, so, yeah. Make him yours. Take him to fucking Disneyland. Put him on a roller coaster. Yeah, man, we did. We, hey, fuck. We've done He's it. He's four. Yeah. Put him on a fucking podcast. Make him a <laughs> fucking star. I know. I had him on it. He loves those videos. Yeah, uh, yeah we thought about uh, taking advantage of I his think that's, and, yeah, uh, yeah. I just uh, yeah. think that's yeah, just... Cute I think that's truly fucking amazing, Robert. Oh, thank you, man. Well, I, I mean, I would do the same thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, you got to. I mean, none of my children never be needed to be saved by me. <laughs> so I'm just let, a knucklehead. Let's let's save that conversation for uh, what's your deal? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. so uh, I I you know we've gone through a, a, a magical journey so far on the podcast uh, today and. I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, speaking of drugs, <laughs> uh, uh, there was an attraction that they used to have at Epcot Center in uh, Walt Disney World, and uh, it's called Magic Journeys. And it was a movie that they would play, like a 3D film. And, uh, you know, it was made in the early 80s, so it's still definitely like a 70s hangover. And uh, it's I'll, – I'll read some facts about it on this paper very blatantly. But uh, on October 1st, 1982 – Magic Journeys premiered as one of the opening day attractions at the Journey into Imagination Pavilion and Walt Disney World's Epcot Center. It was directed by Murray Lerner, a uh, avid experimental documentary filmmaker, uh, and it featured a song composed by Robert and Richard Sherman. Can you, they, can you do the rest in uh, Vin Scully? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, the, the the Sherman brothers wrote uh, like <laughs> Winnie the Pooh and all those classic things. Yeah. But yeah, I'll read it as Vin Scully, the yeah, legendary yeah. Dodgers broadcaster. A pre-show presentation anchored by another Sherman Brothers song, Making Memories, played before the film's opening at Epcot Center's run. Starting on June 16, 1984, Tommy Lasorda was there, rest in peace, <laughs> stuffing his fat pig-like face with Dodger dogs. There's one thing... Oh, fuck, I feel terrible doing riffing on <laughs> I fucking Tommy was a, a, a legend, man. Yeah, I know. It's just in the bit it was in the he bit I do. But he was a fat guy, yeah. yeah. Well, and, but, and he still lived a long time. He did, man. 90 something. They were saying I, I yeah. Liked, wouldn't they do those legend things at Dis I mean at Dodger Stadium? Stadium? And then will his walk his fucking lazy fat ass <laughs> out there. <laughs> you know. I'm a very skinny man, and I don't give a whole lot of leeway to fat fuckers like that guy <laughs> right there. But I don't mean any harm because I think being skinny is the same crime. You seem to be like medium. Fuck you, Robert. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Let's get him. Yeah. yeah. You're, the wor you're the worst the, of both yeah. worlds. Hey, I say all the skinny and fat people kill all the medium people. <laughs> That's then, funny. And then we just rule the world. Hang on, hang on. Did you, did you finish that? No, oh, no, no, no. He started laughing at you. Yeah, yeah, this is funny. Finish all right. Well, so if you would have kept going, I would have shut the fuck up. That's all right. Man. Well, I, I feel guilty for throwing in that stupid Lasorda. It's in an act I do with uh, Vince Scully, like being oh, drunk. I love this. Thank you. But uh, the thing I'm saying is, 
Tommy sort of lived a fucking oh, yeah. amazingly long yeah, life. Yeah, he did. For being Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> yeah. So do it again. Start okay. from the beginning. Well, okay. there, and there was a there was a place too in uh, in um, Fullerton that he'd go to all the time. We just found out this is a very Tommy Lasorda fact. But he would get free stuff because it's like this is Tommy Lasorda. He's a legend. He's in the neighborhood, and so he'd go there and they'd feed him. <laughs> they give him endless tacos. He could get him whatever. <laughs> right? Just keep eating. Yeah, and I guess he uh, he outused his. I guess they had to cut Tommy off from eating tacos. <laughs> the eighty six yeah, him, the, which is the hilarious. Eighty six for eating too many tacos. Yeah, which is such a like Tommy Lasorda thing. But yeah, he, totally. dude, I met him. He was a sweet guy, fucking awesome. Yeah, Dodge so, legend. Yeah, all right, so. I mean, this is Vince Scully. Yeah. Starting on June 16th, 1984, it began as a two-year run at Disneyland, first on the outdoor space stage, and then inside the newly constructed Magic Eye Theater in Tomorrowland. In 1986, the film was removed from Disneyland and Epcot Center in order to make way for a new 3D film, Captain EO, with the world's most favorite pedophile, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of 1986, that's the year that Bill Buckner fucked up and let that ball go between his legs. And speaking of being fucked up, Daryl Strawberry was so strung out on cocaine when he was with the Dodgers, he thought he was a baseball. And he told everyone in the dugout to take a swing. In December of 1987, Magic Journeys returned to Walt Disney World at the Fantasyland Theater inside Magic Kingdom, where it was paired with the 1950 3D short Working for Peanuts, starring Donald Duck. The film played in this venue for six years until it closed in December 1993 in order to make room for Legend of the Lion King. Speaking of Lion King, <laughs> I don't know. I was going to go into a fucking really... I, no, keep going. No, no, no. It was bad, dude. So, all right. Um, we're going to set up this clip. Uh, we already set it up. Uh, this is... So, we've talked about right now Magic Journeys, the uh, Disney Epcot legendary film. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch this and just you know you're, you're gonna share your headphones. Thoughts. You're gonna need your headphones on, dude. I know. Nah. All right. Well, we're gonna watch this film and keep in mind this My is definitely is. this is definitely a hangover of the uh, LSD '70s. Right, so let's, uh, let's let's do it. Um, and this was originally 3D, so it's gonna be a little wonky looking. But and if uh, you want to if you want to talk over it, just start do, and I'll pause do, it. So. Do I know where this place is? Um, no, I think this is like in a uh, it's a journey through the world. It's a magical journey. So. Ready? Okay. Through many worlds. Hey, Robert, that was fan fucking fantastic, bro. Thank you, sir. Do you think these kids are, are looking for uh, like dead bodies or probably they're trying to no, find? They're looking for candy. <laughs> Never had that drug. <laughs> Come on, I'm man! Just, it could be Easter. Where are they, are they in? Uh, they're like in fucking. Bay? They're in Oz. Are they in bro. Barstow right now? Or? This is like a fucking Pink Floyd music video. Yeah, ah. it is. Yeah, me too. Oh man! Oh shit! The, the okay. edibles are kicking in. All the theme parks, Molly. That's what I want. <laughs> Do you ever do that, Doug? Just pick out what a uh, cloud, what what clouds are doing, you know? Oh shit! When I was on LSD and shit, of course. <laughs> this is fucking amazingly beautiful. How do you find this thing? It's on YouTube. See, man, if you're on Molly right now, you just feel every uh, every I mean, pedal. When was this thing made? In the early '80s. So they're definitely uh, experimenting. Whoa. Yeah, this is, like I said, it's exactly like watching visuals at a Pink Floyd concert. I got to see a couple of Pink Floyd concerts. Oh, man. Oh, but it's Walt Disney. Yeah. And this is what they played in that, that, e that Captain EO theater? Yeah, before Captain EO, they play this movie. Magical journeys. You know, I got to see the Hall of Presidents with all the. It's still there. No, it ain't. Yeah, there's, there's uh the Hall of Presidents is in uh, Disney World all the time, but it's only Lincoln's here. Oh, that's yeah. Right. So only they get Lincoln, to have yeah. animatronics. No, we had all of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, I it think was it almost went. like Pirates so, of the Caribbean. So here's the thing: is I saw the Trump one being built when I was working at the Imagineering. Oh, studio. really? <laughs> the Trump one's hilarious because it looked like Hillary, but they just slapped Trump's hair on it <laughs> so he could uh, grab himself by the pussy. Uh, no, but uh, those... I think it was the same person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they might be. Oh, look, there's a what? What kind of bird is that? It's I'm a not... phoenix. Is a phoenix yeah. rising? Yeah. This is so very fucking psychedelic. Yeah. They look so happy, too. I wonder what happened to these kids if they show people, you know, like <laughs> they just reminisce on. Uh, wow, man, this is, this definitely looks like a. Well, like but I can feel the colors. That's how fucking that's how like old school Disney stuff was. That was so visually striking. So like it was almost made for people on LSD. But, I mean, look at Fantasia. A Fantasia's amazing. That's like a heroin movie. Yeah, dude. That movie is it's like, a fever dream. Yeah, yeah, Charlie Parker was like shooting up watching that shit. Yeah. So, but that's what that's what movies and uh, uh, music and entertainment is all about. Can you imagine being alive and going? Holy shit, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Right. Oh, man, dude, that kid's flying. He is flying. He's Fuck on, yeah. He just took an edible. You what, what, would you, what would you do if you could fly, Doug? Where would you go? Down to the bell. <laughs> At the bar <laughs> the around bar. the corner. You go to the, you'd fly to the bar around yeah, the corner. I, 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 That's an honest answer, and I appreciate that, sir. I, <laughs> I, 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 you have any choice in the world, you can go to that. I go to the bar around the You go the to border. Rancho Santa Margarita, or, uh, you know, you go see this, the Egypt, you know, pyramids. But you go to the Bell in Highland, California. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, wow, well, what is this? There's uh, no place I'd rather be. <laughs> it's <laughs> like a theme park to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking roller coaster ride over there, Robert. <laughs> is that a mermaid? No. No, it's no, just that kid kicks. flying still. Oh, look at his shoes. Some strong ass edibles, dude. Are those, uh, like, uh, Adidas or something? Oh, well, no, those are cool ones. What did people rock in the early 80s? What were a lot of sh f popular shoes? I was just telling this story. Converse, Converse no, and no, Reebok. Hold on. I was telling, and this is pre-80s, because I'm an old man, but uh, we had a van store that was down the street, and it was no bigger than this room. Right. They had a few pairs of shoes there but if you gave them 45 dollars and then let's let's just go 1975 you could bring in like an old fuck like if i brought in this old coat yeah they'd fucking make my vans out of this coat yeah yeah and awesome. these two patches would be fucking involved in it that's awesome Oh, it was fucking truly amazing, but <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have you ever guys heard of Earth Souls? Uh -uh. Ursula? Ursula. From <laughs> no, Earth Souls. Earth Souls. Is that like a... It was a... Is that on PS2? A, hold on. It was I'm a, playing Earth Souls today. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You've no. never heard of this? No, no, so. it sounds God like a bless video game. Your but. Souls. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm spinning out on this thing. That's all right. It's still playing. We're still watching it. Look at the way it is on the video. Oh, so, whoa. But Earth Souls, mm. they turned the heel around. The big part was, was on, on the, the front. And they had commercials. And it said, Earth Souls, the way man was made to walk. <laughs> Fucking look it up. But what is happening? Hold on. This was during <laughs> you poor son of a bitches, man. Have you ever heard of dittos? Dittos, no. Uh, heard of jellies. Okay. I've heard of Dido. Okay, now we I I'm going on through the roller coaster. 1974. I'm in the seventh fucking grade. And the 
fucking hottest, hippest fucking pants a girl could wear are dittos. And they climb completely up her pussy. <laughs> and you got nothing but camel toe. I, I swear to God to you, and I'm going through puberty. I mean, and I'm holding my fucking books like in front of me. I got a fucking hard on. But, and... <laughs> Like every single girl has these fucking pants that go up her fucking coochie. <laughs> and the commercial was <laughs> feel the way they fit. Yeah. Look it up. Uh, Find it, Ryan. Come on. You can go to some <laughs> fucking goddamn website. Yo, hold on. <laughs> it, it was done by Brooke Shields. See, this show I mean, is uh, is educational, guys. Oh, uh, it's historical. Oh, they were made by Brooke uh, Shields? I thought. No, but uh, we'll, we'll look up Ditto. Look up Ditto Jeans, uh, someone. Uh, I mean, she was like 14 fucking years old when she did the commercial. Oh, there they oh, are. Oh, shit. Fucking watch this shit. This book comes attached. Look at her nipple. Yeah. I'm fucking 13. Yeah, this is more interesting than uh on real live women. Magic what journey. The fuck? Sorry, yeah, the magic journey. journey. Look at this is me in the fucking seventh grade. Yeah, Brooke Shields was like fucking sixteen here. Is that Brooke Shields? I don't think that's Brooke Shields. No, nah, that one isn't. But she was 14 when she started. We wrote the book on fit. But that's an old one. Yeah. Go so, further back. Well, what <laughs> I think I, I we get, I think we get the point. Well, I get the, the point. Idea. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So they're pretty they're pretty hot jeans for the time. Oh, you could just they're tight fitting. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, so they accentuate we are, we are at 54. Do you want to wrap this uh Robert Land episode and then go on to the next one or uh well no, we got six minutes. Let's see the uh go back to the, the magic journeys because okay. we we're getting we're getting pretty cool there, but oh, I didn't see where we were going with it. Oh no, it's all right. Okay. So there's the, the Lord of the Rings. Um oh the moon. The moon. Have you been mooned before, Doug? Absolutely. I've mooned people. I I'm streaked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people used to streak all the time. What happened to streaking? It became, well, it became a felony. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, didn't they streak in the Oscars or something? Or, uh, yeah. Like that dude that crashed it naked? Uh, yeah. yeah. Man, and these headphones, that, like, that drum is just pounding my soul. Oh, man. This is Walt Disney. Oh, fuck? shit. What kind of drugs is she on? And is this child proof? Is this, uh... Is this... Is oh, this, this this was in 3D, you said, huh? Yeah. She kind of looks like this woman that's uh, outside of 7-Eleven. Uh, right now. <laughs> yeah. When I, was, when I was a kid... When I, when I was a kid, they had the, uh... Uh, fucking terrifying that was pretty yeah. scary that was scary <laughs> they had the uh, laser shores at the uh arboretum oh really do you guys ever get to go do one of those no no, no. I, but they still do them i think they still, i do not believe i still do, do I, they still do events well, at they the arboretum. didn't do them the way we did yeah well they were handing out acid <laughs> but you're at, at the, the arboretum <laughs> yeah. this big scientific fucking room and you're laid back and you're looking at the ceiling just frying like a motherfucking right. madman. <laughs> fucking amazing shit, man. So now, wait, where are they now? Are they in like a, They're in space. Spice? I don't know. Now they spice, do. the final frontier. I don't know. <laughs> is, that, is that Tom Petty? <laughs> <laughs> See, is. Doug could go anywhere. He could go. He could go to the Egypt. Nope. No, nope. but... wants to go around the corner of the bar. Yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah. At, we're actually on his time right now. He's pissed off. We're holding him. Yeah. Yeah. And I got a piss like a rainstorm. Yeah, so do I. Oh, well, 
I don't know. There's can we? There's a part where they see a clown. I, I just wanted to get to that. Oh, there's Richard Ramirez's eyes. Oh my okay, god. Okay, here it is. <laughs> we get. The, is yeah, this, this is kind of the. One? Yeah, this is this is the final uh, frontier right here. That's a big pussy. <laughs> Fucking biggest one I ever seen. Hairiest one too. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no I grew up in the fucking seventies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you think um do you think those guys ever like like jump to each other and blow each other, you know? Oh, like... they were all blowing each other. Those guys those guys <laughs> do you are think that's the motivation. Those guys are moose knuckling it like so well, fucking yeah. You have to trust each other. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to you got to build up the trust. Yes, and there's nothing to bring trust like <laughs> like seeing each other another, naked. <laughs> another man's cock in your mouth. <laughs> I know this shit. <laughs> That's what the Romans did, it right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. no, but they put cocks and asses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What goes on in Vegas stays, stays in, in Vegas, Vegas, right? <laughs> well, I think there's a clown coming up. I just wanted to get to that. Uh, <clears throat> dude, how much? How much do you think they were fucking? They're they're dosing during this, dude. They're, this is. I'm you, sure this was an attraction that everyone was just totally. I mean, like, oh shit! The oh, there falls? it is. Oh my god, this is terrifying. He's like a really tiny head. Oh, fuck. Let me do it again, see? I'm going to come closer. Oh, so this is a who, who fucking loves clowns, dude? No, no one. Oh, my God. Look at that. He fucked up their day. Just like... <laughs> I he think just like... Is, fuck, I think this, destroyed their hearing. Uh, this was a point where nobody uh, liked clowns. Oh, look. Oh, it's a, it's a little person. Yeah, it's a clown midget. What? Dude. No, don't call them midgets. <laughs> I, le, anytime, uh, like, um, what's he gonna do? Beat me up? No, anytime, anytime a little person's on screen, there's always someone that brings up what do we call them? And there's always that <laughs> quick little thing. I think they prefer little people. Well, I don't know, midgets. How about nothing? <laughs> I mean, like, there's there's still half of something. Like Come met, on, Doug. That's why I like Brad Williams so much. He's like, fuck it, can't dance. Yeah. But I feel bad because, like, not until recently, like, I mean, think about it. Peter Dinklage was like the like first dude. Dude, look at they were they were like a clown, you know? Yeah, they were dwarf uh, throwing pies at people for meth heads to watch right yeah. now, like forever. So good, good for them for getting and the Dinklage. They probably made enough to make money. Ah, for sure. Who the fuck wanted them to serve dishes do you think over the, at their restaurant? Do you think the, the midget got a hand job uh, at, at the premiere? Probably by the trapeze artist, but by the guy trapeze <laughs> artist. <laughs> it was it was the seventies, so whatever. Look at that! Look at those big Everyone's... legs. <laughs> are those? Does he are, got those like... are those dittos? <laughs> <laughs> Did he's got like another uh, pole in there to uh, mount? Well, I can still <laughs> see two knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that'd be a good, that'd be a good place to stop. I think at the right. uh, <laughs> wait. Does the client have a puss? Oh Two knuckles, man. So, uh, Ryan, Doug, thank you guys. Where so you've got a podcast yourself? Where can uh, people find it? What's it called? Uh, well, I've been able to find it at because uh, I'm an old man. I've been able to find it at YouTube. Doug Gleason. <laughs> And yeah. w what's the name of the podcast? Uh, it's called What's Your Deal. All right. Well, and, and I think we're going to do yours next. Yeah. yeah. Or Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Fucking, a whole fucking more hour in my ugly ass. <laughs> well, yeah, check it right. out. Check out What's Your Deal. Uh, you can find Ryan uh, online. Uh, at, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hit the mic. Hey, Ryan, me. where else can you find me? Uh, it's on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play. But uh, is it under Doug Gleason? It's or? What's Your Deal with Doug Gleason is the entire Because I couldn't find it on YouTube when I looked up what you did. What's Your Deal with Doug Gleason? Uh, yeah. Uh, All right. Um, Thanks hey, again. Hey, Robert, man. I'd really like to thank you for having me on your podcast. You know, it was a roller coaster ride. Thank you so much. Thank man. you, man. Well, guys, stay safe out there. Au revoir. Bye. Ah, cool. Hell yeah. All right, let's take a little break and then reset. For Fuck yeah, man. I don't okay. know how it was supposed to work, bro. I hope. Oh.
This episode of Robert Land has been brought to you by the new podcast, Big Bro, Little Bro, where the big bro gives dating advice to his little bro. All right, this line is a panty dropper. Tonight, I'm going to have sex with you, whether you like it or not. I'm not saying I'm going to rape you. I'm saying, like, you know, like, I'm going to imagine having sex with you, whether you're there or not. I mean, never mind. Okay. Sweet, you were there.